Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And as I said, I'm prepared to close. I, I just want to say that again, in modern American history, a lame duck omnibus package has never been passed before the new majority takes over. So where's the claims that there's a threat to democracy? Where's the Where's, where's the talk about the institutional integrity when we're doing this unprecedented step? This package is designated to sideline the incoming Republican majority, to sideline incoming Speaker Kevin McCarthy by extending many programs in this bill for multiple years and providing large funding increases for Democrat priorities. This is on top of the out of control spending that's led to historic inflation rates this year. Why are we not curbing wasteful government spending? Why are we not funding border security and border enforcement? Why are we not unleashing American energy dominance? Why are we not investing in our law enforcement officers? This omnibus does nothing to effectively address any of the crises that we are currently facing. For those reasons, I urge my colleagues to vote no on the rule and I yield back the balance of my time. Greetings friends, happy Tuesday to all of you. My friends, I have a new stimulus update to share with you today. President Biden has just made a big announcement for millions of Americans. You may end up with some extra cash in your bank account before the end of this year. New legislation has been proposed and it includes relief checks worth as much as $500. So friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to hear about all of these new details. Also, I will be giving away a Walmart gift card every day this month. If you'd like to enter these giveaways, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these daily giveaways. Recently, President Biden announced some good news for Americans across the country. President Biden sent out a series of tweets during the holiday season, detailing what his administration has accomplished for average Americans. And one of those tweets directly related to a big change, and that could mean an extra $200 in a typical household's budget. President Biden wrote in a Twitter post and explained exactly why he believes a typical American will have more money in their bank account this year. Biden stated, as of right now, families with two cars driving home for the holidays are saving $200 a month on gas compared to mid-June's peak. High gas prices have been wrecking havoc on Americans' budgets for quite a long time now, but prices have started to fall dramatically in recent weeks. And while a drop in prices is not exactly the same as a government making an extra direct payment into Americans' bank accounts, it can have an equivalent effect. So according to many economists, if you were spending $200 more per month on gasoline during the summer, and you now get to keep that money for other things, thanks to decreasing prices, these reclaimed funds can allow you to do other important things with your money. Because of falling gas prices and a general decline in inflation, the US president also touted in his tweets, demand could increase for goods and services because people are no longer feeling the pain at the pump. And this could have the effect of stimulating the economy as a whole. According to new gas buddy projections, gas prices in the US will probably be significantly cheaper overall next year. Yet the national average could still climb back above the $4 a gallon threshold as soon as May 2023. The national average for regular gas, which is a metric closely watched by Wall Street, Main Street, and even the White House, is expected to drop to $3.49 a gallon in early 2023, which is down roughly 50 cents from the average this year. That cool down could prove significant, translating to families spending an average of 277 less on fuel for the year. So if that holds true, total U.S. gasoline spending would drop by about $55 billion and this is according to that forecast. So dear friends, what are your thoughts on this? Please let me know how much you are paying for a gallon of unleaded gas in your city or state. Also friends, I know that many of you among the 3 million California taxpayers who have yet to receive the state's middle-class tax refund and the latest data from the Franchise Tax Board was last updated December 16th. The Franchise Tax Board typically updates the distribution numbers 
every Wednesday. But last week, the agency did not update the data due to being a vacation week. As of mid-December, about 14,900,000 payments, either via direct deposit or by debit card. However, the remaining 3 million payments will reach taxpayers in the form of a debit card between now and mid-January 2023. Also, in the state of Maine, a draft version of a heating aid plan is being considered by Governor Janet Mills and lawmakers. It would send out $450 checks to hundreds of thousands of Mainers and dedicate tens of millions of dollars more to other aid and housing programs. Something close to this $447 million plan could be approved by the Maine legislature as soon as this Wednesday. One Republican leader said this week that he wants the plan to apply to more Mainers. Under this proposal, the $450 checks would go to everyone in the state of Maine who made under $75,000 in the last tax season, while couples who filed jointly and earned less than $150,000 a year would receive $900. The plan also includes tens of millions of dollars more in spending, including $50 million for other heating aid programs. The plan is driven by a revised forecast, projecting a $280 million state budget surplus through mid-2023. The remainder of the money comes from transfers within the budget. It is response to fuel prices that are near record highs in the state, most who are dependent on heating oil. So dear friends, please let me know in the comment section below if you think that this bill is a good idea. That is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Tuesday afternoon. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me here and watching these new videos that I post. I will be announcing a new winner for the Walmart gift card giveaway in a video later today. So please make sure that you do stay tuned for those videos. Remember, the more videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the greater your chances of winning these daily giveaways. Thank you, my friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Tuesday. Kentucky, seek recognition. Revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentleman from Kentucky is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise to strongly encourage our Senate friends across the hall to oppose this omnibus spending bill and get back to regular order, allow Congress to debate this massive spending bill and to offer amendments on the floor the way the Founding Fathers designed this body. We just had an election, Mr. Speaker, and the voters overwhelmingly said that the biggest issue to them was inflation. We have inflation because this body has spent too much money, but apparently this body did not get the message from the voters. I'm going to have the honor of being the chairman of the House Oversight Committee in a few weeks. One of the priorities of this committee will be to eliminate waste, fraud, abuse, and mismanagement in the federal government. We have agencies like the NIH, the CDC, the FBI, the FDA, the IRS, and the list goes on and on and on that cannot account for spending of massive amounts of tax dollars, yet this body is going to give all those federal agencies a blank check for another 12 months. We need to oppose this and get back to regular order. I yield back.